If your slides have a lot of visual detail, such as when you're teaching computer procedures, diagrams, technical drawings, or documents, it can be hard to fit everything on the screen in a way that your learners can see the detail. Storyline offers a great feature called a zoom region that lets you zoom in on what matters at the moment. Here I have a screen simulation on how to find a resume template in Microsoft Word. When the file menu opens, the options are fairly small. So I'll go to the Insert tab and select Zoom Region. This gives me a frame that matches the aspect ratio of the slide. Whatever is inside this frame gets zoomed in to fill the whole slide. The smaller I make the frame, the larger the magnification when it enlarges to full screen. The zoom region also appears on the timeline, where you can indicate when you want it to stop and start. Let's give it a try. And if I want a little more magnification, I just make the frame smaller. On this slide, I have two resume formats I'd like to compare and contrast. They are too small to read side by side like this, but I want to be able to go back and forth between the two. This is where multiple zoom regions can come into play. I'll add the first one to zoom in on the chronological resume. Then I'll go back to the Insert tab and add another zoom region and place it over the functional resume. Notice that both zoom regions appear on the same line in the timeline. You can move them before or after each other, but not on a separate line. Only one can be active at a time. If there's any time between the two zoom regions, then the screen goes back to standard magnification in between. But if you put the zoom regions right up against each other in the timeline, then it acts as a pan. The screen zooms into the first one and then pans over to the second one without zooming back out. If it's moving a little too fast, you can change the transition speed. Just right click the zoom region, select zoom transition speed, and then select the speed you want. Zoom regions let you have the best of both worlds. Your learners can see the big picture and also focus in on the detail.